Welcome back to Watching Baseball. We are moving on up to the 1987 World Series. It was another World Series that went to seven games, three in a row involving five different teams. How about that? 1986, 1987, 1985, 1986, 1987 all went seven games. Good three-year stretch for the World Series. Jake, who plays in this one? In this World Series is the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Minnesota Twins. We have our first indoor stadium, Jim, the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome up in Minnesota there. I've always said that was such a good name. And this World Series kind of blows. No offense, Mets fans. Um, or Mets fans. What? No, but no offense no to offense Mets fans No offense to the Mets fans at all. That stands. Um, the Twins, who win this game, are one of the worst... World Series teams ever, record-wise. They were beat out by the 2006 Cardinals. The Cardinals, they're playing in this series. Uh, their first baseman, Clark, who was tearing it up, he led the league in home runs, and I think they said OPS in the article I was reading, but that wasn't a thing back then. But uh, he gets hurt. He rolls his ankle. He had 35 homers or in like 131 games. Next on the team in home runs was 12 by Terry Pendleton, and he was a switch hitter, but he was hurt and could only swing from the left side. Uh, so we had a banged-up Cardinals team versus a kind of a non-impressive Twins team in the nicest way. Wow. And uh, we made it to Game 7. And the other way that this World Series is known, it's the only World Series that didn't have action in the bottom of the ninth inning. So the home team always had the lead in the ninth and always held the lead. Fun times. It was very hard to find a moment or... So we're so going to... Game seven. The The Twins are down right now going into the bottom of the fifth inning. Game seven. Is this Gary Gagne? Gagne has struck out twice. Gagne. Gagne. A little chopper. chopper. Confusion by Lindemann. McGrain covers and... Oh! All right, so right away. Choppers and bloops, man. Memories of 1986, right away. Whitey Herzog. McGrain is pissed. Did, Did he his ever left, the did his left leg swipe it? See. The sweep? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He's out. Yeah. So that's... So what I, do you mean you don't know announcer? He's saying I, they were saying he was safe for sure. And then I oh, okay. He's out. Shit, that happened to the Cardinals twice? Yeah, so... Holy smokes. Just... Um, so yeah, if you're a Cardinals fan, you're going out of your mind. You can't believe that happened again. And so I guess there was a couple controversial calls this series. Um, there was a rundown that I think the Twins got the better of the call on. But Tucson, Tucson. That's a nice play by the pitcher. It's a really good play by the pitcher. That didn't I don't think I've ever seen that. There was no confusion. Yeah. It's really weird that the pitcher stops arguing so quickly. What were you going to do? You can change his mind. It's the World Series. You want to keep pitching. Danny well, Cox. he doesn't keep pitching. <laughs> but I think he wanted to. Uh, Danny Cox, your guy. I heard there was another play where Vince Coleman, Cardinals outfielder, threw someone out at the plate, and they called him out, and he was safe. So there was some some makeup calls. First pitch. Cagney's flying. Good for him. That's how quickly. That's how quickly it happens. I know that so many... The, the people that I feel bad for right now already know this. It's right. 30 years ago or 40 or whatever. 
I can't believe that. I mean, you know, we're doing these all in one day. So for the viewer, two days ago, we posted the video of the 1986, uh, 1985 versus the Royals. Same exact thing, Jake. Yeah. They got the guy out at first. The ump blew, blows the call. That changes. That's the fucking tying run in game seven. Of the World Series. Of yeah. the World Series. It's, uh, I, I mean, it's where I kind of get, I, I don't want to say fed I'm like, up. I'm like heartbroken for Cardinals fans right now. We like doing revisionist history with the new analytics we have and stuff. You know, going back and, you know, this guy shouldn't have won a gold glove. You need this to watch guy the games. Done. I, I mean, it's, if we're going to do revisionist history, I mean, uh, like check out something like this and tell me how the story should have gone because, uh, I mean, it just starts getting crazy. And yeah, if you're a Cardinals fan, I mean, these had to be a miserable few years. There's, there's got to be a bunch of books on this topic. Yeah. Of sure. being jobbed out of two World Series, basically. Well, not jobbed, because this game, we're in the middle of this game. It's fifth inning. Uh, yeah. Anyway, for twin shit, that was great, basically. Yeah. I and mean, that's porn for me. And then uh, Kirby Puckett Kirby just stepped pitch. into the plate. Like, hey, I'm the man on this team. I'm the man on this team. Be ready Damn. to hit. Yeah, that was awesome. Good high fives. So we can really see, like, we have watched the yeah. invention of the high five. Yeah. And it was the late 70s, and now we're in the mid-80s, and it's just full-blown high five nation. Ramp it. Yeah. And now it's canceled. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that made it 2-2. Looks like I couldn't believe this didn't bounce over. Uh, I guess there's more distance than I thought. The Twins played at this field for way too long. What's he saying? What'd he say? Ball inside? You're my lip reader. Look like, like some ball yeah. inside. Catcher getting in the way made it tough. Look how happy that guy was. Gaietti with a big swing and a miss. Gary Gaietti. What a name. So are we watching the rest of this inning? Uh, I think there's something interesting happening. But, hey, what was uh, the guy who scored his name? They keep calling him Gagne. We know Eric Gagne. Gagne? But that was what's Greg his first Gagne. name? Greg. Greg Gagne and Gary Gaetti? Yeah. G-Unit. G-Unit. So Kirby gets Everzellis here because he's the go-ahead run. And it's next batter. Next batter? Yeah. So Gaetti walks. Is he still going in? Yeah. Jim, I don't know of anybody who knows any better what it's like to be a starting pitcher and come in in relief like you did for 80. Why is he trying to steal third? It's Kirby Puckett, man. There's no outs, right? Spits on it. Uh, we have one out. Oh, yeah, it was before we started the video. Yeah. I guess there's only one out, but still. So I, I know what happens is why I'm keeping this on, because I kind of want to see why or how. Don Baylor coming up the DH. Don Baylor. Yeah, so you have a you go ahead run on second with the DH out. Yeah. You know what Don's like, doing up like there? Motion? Not really. Know. See? There you go. So that's what happened. Okay, that's why what you just said. You cannot just look at the box score. It wasn't a straight steal. That would have been crazy. And I think it hits the umpire. Fuck box scores. Gotta watch the game. Yeah, it hit the umpire's mask. Good throw. Great throw. All right, so let's skip because it's a tie game now. It's a tied game. Oh, actually, leave it running, dude. Yeah, ump right in the mask. Yeah. If the mask isn't there, does that go far? 
Probably. It goes back. And again, like, well, keep the tape rolling. Don didn't want that. I already said that, dude. Come on, Tim. I already was all over that. Two zero pitch to Don Baylor. Ooh, that's a good Big two zero pitch. Gary Gaetti. He's up there on my name team. What's the name you like? Gary Gaetti. Is it because it sounds like Gary Gaga? It's because it sounds like they end the same way, but they don't. Legitimately a wild pitch. Oh, I love baseball. That's why we kept it rolling. Good call. Nobody. Look at him. I love catchers. Walk it off. Just fucking a wounded soldier. Like, got the job done. Let's go hit, boys. A lot of game left. The ball was not hit sharply. Now watch Gaetti come trucking home. Coleman has Full charge by Coleman. Charges the ball well. And a catcher, all he wants to do is get it in his bare hand. That is awesome. What a play. Look at this. Oh, we've got our first, like, really good replay. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Yeah. Game seven. Go ahead, run. Play at the plate. Oh, here's another angle. One more. Yeah, baby. Lake got rocked. Mm. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I mean, if you can find bottom five. What are we looking for? A rundown situation? Dan Gladden, Greg Gagne. Oh, bottom five. Yeah. This is still top five. But it looked like there was a rundown or something fun happening. Yeah, so this is a controversial play. That's interference. Yeah. So the Cardinals just got jobbed in yeah. the late 80s. We There were a couple calls that went against the Twins this series. Okay, but okay. fair. We think umping is worse and worse and worse. It is far better. And the replay rules and... I think it's the same. <laughs> I think it's safe at first, too. So you have interference and you have just a bad call by the... Yeah. I mean, it's interference. It's the biggest interference. And he's also trying to sell the interference. And he interference and he's safe. That's tough. Oh, this stupid kid. Like, yeah. one play makes me realize why I love it so much. And then that is so... F Fly ball to right. Bernanski's under it, and that's the last out of the inning. I'm almost boiling right now. Yeah. That's that's We got back to back walks coming up. So I don't know if we want that. Skip those. I'm just I'm just so glad that we finally got replay involved. Yeah. Oh yeah, many years late. They had it right there. Yeah. So by the way, all right. So we've got Todd Worrell coming back. 
Yes. Who kind of got screwed. We saw him in his rookie season. Two World Series ago. Um, when he was a rookie. September call-up. Now he's got some actually full seasons of big league action under his belt. Who do we got? Bernanski's at first. Do I need to keep going? Bernanski's at first. Yeah, this is... Is this this is still Danny Cox? I thought they just brought in Worrell. No, this is Cox. still Cox. So he walks him. Cox got rocked in the game he started, game two or three. Nice. Bad day for Danny Cox. Screaming at the young. Yeah. What's this? Well, Danny Cox departing, and then the bullshit. 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 Go watch him. Go watch him. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. No brainer. So now we got Warren in. Uh, Worrell. 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 Todd Worrell. Having a good World Series again. His, his postseason numbers are really good. Power pitcher, if you remember from two days ago. Tim Lodner. Oh, boy. Worrell fucking bounced. Where'd yeah. he go? Like a cat. Like a cat. Oh, like a cat. Textbook. I mean, you're saying a lot of good stuff, yeah. but the manner in which you're saying it is so boring. Why Why bother? Ozzy Smith's over there. <laughs> Ozzy, did you see that? The fake it got by me. Why not? That's why you throw it to Ozzy. Strong throw by Lake, but a short hop and a good play by Smith. Now watch him. Now watch him. Tim McCarver yells at the booth. <laughs> Shouldn't have waited a beat. Yeah. Can't really see shit from that angle, yeah. if I'm being honest. It's a bad... Cameras weren't good enough to be... To be doing this. To be doing such wide shots. Yeah. Is this McCarthy? Lacks the experience. Um, it's not McCarthy. Whoever's... It's a name similar to that. McCarver. McCarver. Either way, he's over. He's juiced up. Game seven. But he's, but he's just over explaining. Trevor Plouffe on second. <laughs> Roy Smalley pinch hitting for Steve Lombardozzi. I love these pinch hitter appearances. Switch hit, pinch hitter. Switch hit, pinch hit. How are you spelling Smalley? Uh, with an E at the end. One for two in this World Series. Both the bats off Worrell. Fly ball the other night in St. Louis. Double here. Roy Smalley. To left center field. So he's seen Worrell. Okay, so he was a starter at some point. At this point, ball. dude, he was at the tail end of his career. This was his last season. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, I read about him on the Wikipedia he has four plate appearances this series. Spoiler, he gets on base every time. One is an error, <laughs> but he got on base every time. I love, this is what I'm learning. I love guys' careers like this. Sure. Like, 13-year career, one year he was an all-star. You don't um, see it anymore. I'm sure Twins fans love him. But, like, you, you don't see too many guys put together 13 years of a bench. With a 740 OPS. He started his last three years. He started some years. 
He started a lot of years, actually. Roy played. Jack Flaherty's light skinned brother in law. Yeah, where I got rid of the mustache. Mm hmm. Looks better. Yeah. Yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. Did nothing for me. Fair? Yeah. I get what you're saying. He's the guy, if he's on your team, you love him. When you see him for the other team, you're like, this guy sucks. How the fuck we get beat by this guy? Yeah. Roy Smalley. Nice pitch. He's got tiny hips. Um, Real tapered. Yeah. He's tiny. Small. Smalley. 94, there it is. Is that our first miles per hour on the screen? Uh, maybe. Come on, Worrell. Find the zone. Come on, Roy Smalley. Did Roy have any nicknames? Smalley. It would be funny if they... Last name's Smalley. I know, but it would be funny if he was called Little Smalley. Biggie Smalls. Too early for that. It's a swing. It's a full swing. It's a full swing. They they used to say the the wrist breaking, which is just like kind of nonsense. I mean, that's a full swing. (laughs) I think it even tipped. He's the nephew of Gene Mouch. Mouch. Serious? These are some good, like, hittable pitches, it looks like, in my opinion. Shots fired at Smalley. You hate Roy Smalley. Gene Mach was a manager. 1960 to 1987. 19, 1987. What do we got? 2 2? 2 2, 1 out. All, Some graphics. He's just pouring the fastball, and he doesn't think Smalley can do it. No, Todd Worrell knows he can't touch his fastball. If I hit my spot, no way he's touching it. Okay, then. You better hit your fucking spot. Three, two. Classic. Manager. That's classic. I mean, that's how, you, that's how you run a team. Yeah, that was a great shot. That's how you run a team. Did you like the dialogue I just wrote for my 1980s? You just missed a really good line. He said, Smalley's the first to admit he strikes out more when he doesn't play regularly. So, that's the mentality we got at the dish. I mean, that's... I mean, that changed... That becomes a common mentality. Rest days. Right. (laughs) Dan Gladden. Is this the play-by-play guy that we met? I think that's the radio guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we met him. Yeah. He's hilarious. Yeah. He's me. What's that? He was me. He was you? He was me. As an old man. Yeah. Hyper, hypersexual... Is that him fighting? Yeah, it's him fighting. Oh, I like that. Dan Gladden's a pistol. Yeah, he was awesome when we met him. He had like kind of like on this voice. Yeah. Look at there. Holy smokes. Oh, I like his stance a lot. Oh, I like that swing a lot. <laughs> Danny Gladden, my man. I'm gonna have to tell tell Ploof about this. Yeah. Uh, so his. this was when this fight was when MLB went to Japan just for like a series <laughs> to like spread baseball and he got in a fight I guess I love what he's doing at the plate I mean he's swinging does Dan Gladden have any career walks because from this stance it doesn't look like it He gets the ball in the middle of the plate. He's not going to be as effective. He'll tell you the more I pitch, the better I pitch. 
What was Dan G doing? The most walks he had in a season was 46. Okay. Big swings. Man. Car- career 324 on base percentage. Pop you up or strike you out. Dan Glad in the Madman. Ooh, Ooh. that's the pitch you have to throw. Him. Yeah. That's a great. Why doesn't Worrell throw that pitch more? He only throws fastballs. I mean, when you see Dan Gladden up there with the batting stance and the bat wiggle that I like so much, yeah. you have to throw this pitch. I mean, that's... That's our dirty pitch. Yeah. Morel, you got to throw that more, buddy. And we're back to Greg Gagne. Here he is. Base is hucked. Tied game again in Game 7 of the World Series. <laughs> kind of lost track of that. Bottom six. I don't know how to say this. Say it. This Twins be. team may be the least intimidating combination of hitters. Not just, like, besides right. Gladden's batting stance and Puckett, everyone else. But, looks- I mean, Puckett's, one, like, like, he's a snuggle bunny. Yeah. I mean, the dude on second base is a big hoss, but... No, I mean, this Twins team literally, I mean, record-wise, they were, like, the second... They were the worst team to win the World Series. I think they're the second worst team to win it now, but... a strike today. Todd Worrell in that high fastball. Oh. Directing, orchestrating. A... Be ready. Good luck being heard above this game. Oh. Oof. Oh. Well, Telling Tom Ooh. Ooh. Well, sweep. Excuse me? Throw that dirty slider again. It looked like he was saying, like, use your legs. Okay. Jeopardy music. That's pretty big. Loud in the Metrodome. Again. Now, after you see a swing like that, throw that slider. Throw that slider. Throw the slider. Taking his time. Like, definitely delaying the longest we've seen. Whoa. Uh, this guy is kind of an annoying hitter. Yeah, a lot of the yeah. twins look like like he's taking his time. He's doing a lot of like pre chops. Yeah, like the, the 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 check swing warm up. Like put it here, buddy. You know, it's kind of yeah. like eh, get get out of here. I think I'm a check swing warm up guy. I think you are too. Yeah. <sighs> he's taking for. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I don't like that half chop. Ooh. Full count. Base is loaded. Two outs. World Series. Whitey Herzog. Runners in. My- <laughs> Tom, wake up. It's a World Series, dude. <laughs> Just watching. <laughs> it's a cool shot. Yeah. That place must have been rocking. Got some rally towels. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Todd Worrell. 
Right there. Oh no. What are we doing? <laughs> Pretty deep in right field there at the end. Uh, so yeah, I. Oh my oh. god. Ah! So that goes down as an infield single. Yeah. Todd. On the seventh game, God created the twins. Amen. Um. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what the Jesus. fuck was that? <laughs> That's a bad time. Think about Todd Worrell's World Series history and how differently he could be remembered. On the fist, and then Wallace makes an excellent play, saves one run, nose dive. Does, I don't want to be mean here, does like a top tier third baseman stay on his feet somehow? Like run that into the, run that in turn like Manny Machado? Yeah, I mean, it's a hard play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm it's not, a hard play. I'm not blaming him at all. I'm just saying, like, when I close my eyes and picture Machado or Arenado making that ball, they run through it. You either run through. I mean, those guys have crazy arms, so that's a little unfair. But, yeah, I mean. I said top tier. In theory, you could backhand it and plant. Um, or if you're going to dive like that, you need to be ready to get up a little better. But it's a really hard play. Also protecting just, like, double and shit. As well. Yeah. You need to stop it. She corrects that hack. It's Kirby, man. Kirby pocket Todd Korea Rowe. with the bases loaded. No, just career. 40 at bats, bases loaded. Couldn't read the rest. No grand slams. That little check swing again. You are Kirby pocket. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't. Like, I, I need to idolize him more than I do. R.I.P. Oh my God! Wake up! <laughs> the Cardinals, like it's a whole like they're orchestrating, they're doing stuff, and every time, it's just napping. Yeah, like when I close my eyes and picture you in the batter's box, I'm it's Kirby. Bobby. Yeah, it's eerily similar. Without all the skill. Yeah, different results. Different results for sure. Same process. Uh. That's Tom Kelly they keep cutting to, the Twins manager that's tripping us up. Um, yeah, I mean, Kirby Puckett was listed at 5'8", 178. Hall of Famer, 10-time All-Star. Throws the bat at What's the score right now? They just they just scored one, They just right? took the lead. It's 3-2. So we'll watch the end of this Kirby, and then we'll skip. Yeah. They, they add one more in the eighth, right? Or the ninth? Uh, yeah, I'm still on Kirby Puckett's page, and I'm enjoying it. I think they add one more in the eighth or the ninth. Led the league it. in hits four times. What's his best offensive season? Let's see. Oh, even that reaction. Did you, Lake. did you miss this? Even this, like... Mad at himself reaction is you. I get it. Watch, watch. They did this dumb angle again or zoomed in. Yeah. That's you. That's all you need. You just need to let it out for a second. Um, Let's watch final out. Yeah, final out. He's got a couple 900 OPSs. What's his highest OPS plus? In play. Gaetti. It's a nice first baseman celebration. Uh, 153. That's awesome. Yeah. And again, dog pile and the Stadies are out. Y'all as troopers. Stadies. Guy in a leather jacket. That guy in a leather jacket looked like he had a gun. He might have been a cop. But he looked like he has it out. Might have just been sunglasses or something, but that was <laughs> looked like he was ready to go. Kirby, nice jump by Kirby. Was that Kirby? I don't think it was. It, I don't know. No, it wasn't. Kirby, Kirby's three four. There's Kirby. This will be the last time I say it. I know it's been every single video. 
this is so much better yeah. than watching the fans tear apart the stadium and do cartwheels and slide in the home plate. They had to perfect the process. Oh, my God. He's still just sitting there? Was he glued to the fucking bench? What is he doing? They're celebrating. He was consoling someone. Someone was consoling him. I think he thinks they lost. That's one of the otter shots. Your team is celebrating the World Series. He takes out his dip. No smiles. That's a crazy man. That's a crazy man. I need the backstory, or did he, like, have hurt legs? Like, what the fuck? That is so bizarre. Let's see if he gets interviewed. I feel bad for Todd Worrell, man. Oh, look, look, we actually have slow-mos, I think. The game ended. Okay, here we go. Still doesn't know he's the manager. With a 34 year old general manager, Andy McPhail. 34 year old GM? May have been hit Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's a great yep. shot. Yep. In doubt. Small crowds, that's awesome. The depths of the standings. This is so much fucking better. Good job, whoever decided to kick the fans off the field and allow us these slow mos. And let's do some craziness, like sliding doors, butterfly effect stuff. They talked about Minnesota have thinned out crowds and stuff. How far is a city like Minnesota from a city like Montreal or something like that? Like, if this Twins team doesn't win this World Series and say things go south, I mean, who knows, man? Minnesota's a big sports city, though. Right, but I, I mean, they, they were just saying like the crowds were thinned out. Like, what do you think of your trophy? I'm very happy to. Seattle lost the Supersonics. Did you hear this? Owner here, what do you think of your trophy? I'm very happy that Mr. Polak gave me an opportunity to manage these fine bunch of young men, and I'm, I'm very proud of the, the guys, the way they played. You know, outstanding effort against the Tigers. Very good ball club, and to beat the. This guy bet against the Twins. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Rendon. That's who this is. What did you say to Frank Viola in the middle of the eighth inning? Well, I didn't want to take him out, but the way we've been going... He bet against the Twins. No. This is a man who just lost a lot of money. It's Anthony Rendon. He just doesn't love baseball. He gets the ball, that's all there is to it. Outstanding. Mr. Paul, let me ask you a question. I know that you've had some... Oh, God. Way to go, guys. Super. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. What are you doing? Flatlining. What are you doing, dude? You just won the World Series. Yeah, all right. That was uh, 1987 World Series. Twins beat the Cardinals. The my, heart, my heart breaks for all Cardinals fans from 30 years ago. Tough, brutal sport. Tough three year stretch or whatever it was. Yeah. All right. See you guys.